was first asked to make a speech, I wondered how I could talk about my school without sounding like any other pupil at any other college. But I thought about it, and I realised that I'm from Sir Jonathan North Community College. I can't ever sound like anyone else. SJSUC is my school. My school. My school. My school. I know that SJNCC is world class because we are supported. Our voices are heard. We are all treated equally. We are given opportunities. We are given the best education. Now let us prove it to you. Sir Jonathan North has always been a good school where students who've attended have achieved well and gone on to greater things. However, to move us on to outstanding, we really need to, needed to concentrate on the things that we did well and to do them even better. And that was particularly the quality of teaching and learning in the classroom. Our teachers have always been excellent teachers, but it was a case of visiting other schools locally and nationally and looking at best practice, sharing best practice and bringing those things back into Sir Jonathan North. And I'm a firm believer that everybody can draw. Well, what we try and do, like I say, is introduce them to all the skills so that they can then start telling stories and expressing and creating, but also it opens their eyes to a visual language. So I'm a teacher of um, humanities and I'm also the lead on enterprise education. We've won prizes at the National um, Trade Fair where we've um, been highly commended twice, um, winning prize money both times. We've also always qualified through the area final of the um, competition stage, reaching the county final. We've reached the regional final four times and then in 2010 we reached the um, national final which was held at the Savoy Hotel in London over three days with a company called What If. But I want to know what it's like in the real world. What do real working people think about their jobs and why they got into them? Student Council Executive because it helped me to develop my organisational skills in raising money for a charity by uh, running a catwalk. Being on the Student Council helped to build my confidence because I worked with students to give them a voice. Whilst being on the Student Council we were given the opportunity to raise money for the Help the Homeless Appeal. Being on the Student Council Executive allowed me to work with students to create a more eco-friendly environment for our school. Where's the apostrophe go? Go starts with the S, the girl's pets. What were the clues that helped you to spot the difference? Are you ready? Example number one. So you need to tell me what you would think would make a good teacher. What do you think you would need to do? Molly? You need to be confident. Absolutely. What else? What else do you need to speak to people? 
you need to speak really clearly. Why? So then people understand what your instructions are. Good. Hi, I'm Lucia and I'm a Year 10 student at St John's North Community College. I've always had a love for writing, but coming to St John's North has really fueled that passion and it's made me want to pursue a career as a writer. And I think this is just completely down to the amazing support that I'm given by the English staff in my English lessons and also in extracurricular activities. I've been entered in three competitions by the school and I came runner-up in the Clarendon Park Creative Writing Competition. I came second in Young Writer of the Year Award and I came first in Sue Townsend Award for Writing. We empower students to, to read and write a wide repertoire of English modes. Um, this is reflected in our results, we're within the top second percentile in the country. Our lessons are student centred, um, they provide all students with excellent academic rigour but also the ability to be resilient, reflective, resourceful um, and emotionally um, intelligent. We also run uh, countless trips to theatres and cinemas, uh, not just for, to see things that they are studying but also things that they would enjoy and which would enrich um, their understanding of literature. Um, my favourite thing about the Spanish trip was going to see La Coferia, which is a famous market on Las Ramblas, and all the sights and smells were absolutely gorgeous. And my favourite bit was the Magic Fountains because it was just really colourful and I love our Spanish lessons because they're really active and they get you doing Spanish on the spot which is more realistic than just kind of memorising vocabulary. Hello, my name is Sylvie Lopez, I'm the Head of Languages here at Surgeon of the North. And I am Neha Dutta and I'm a student in Year 10. We'd like to talk to you a bit about the Spelling Bee and Translation Bee, which are national competitions that we've been taking part on every, every year now. Every year we've been taking finalists to Cambridge and it's been such a successful um, experience for us that we've started to take part in the Translation Bee. So last year was the first year that we did that. Neha is one of our finalists. Um, we did Spanish last year. Last year I was part of the Spanish Translation Bee which is where we had to translate certain sentences into past, present or future tense. I think the fact that we have lots and lots of amazing facilities makes us unique. We've got um, a specific trampoline room with four trampolines, we've got a sports hall, we've got this amazing tennis centre with four courts, we've got a field, we've got three lots of netball courts, so I think that makes us fantastic and we can use all those facilities um, to give us lots and lots of extracurricular, lots and lots of clubs that people can join for free. There is something that people can do every lunchtime or every after school if they want to. like this. 
which is a 360 degrees turn. Seven, eight. Now first, one, two, three, four. And when I first came to the school, I liked science, but SGNCC has fed my passion for it. They show that women can thrive in a typically man's subject. There are so many different ways to look at science. I now not only want to pursue a career in science, but the teachers here make that seem completely possible. Lithium, sodium and potassium, you're going to see me react them with water. Um, they are metals. How do we know they're metals? I'm Mrs. Mason, Student Support Manager here at Sir Jonathan North. So we have the, um, the mentoring and befriending um, standard. We have got the inclusion quality mark, but we're also now an inclusion flagship school. Well, the college, um, going back to 2009, we were the first secondary school in Leicester to achieve the Anti-Bullying Community Award. In addition, we are a Stonewall School champion. Um, we have Together Against Homophobia and we also have Friends Against Bullying and Discrimination. But the biggest thing that we do is celebrating diversity. Okay, so what do you do with your peer mentors in tutor time? We play games and get to know each other. We do drama depending on, that, on the subject. We learn how to express our feelings. We write down our feelings. We do role plays on bullying. We do fun activities. So I'm the lead learning mentor. Um, there's a team of three learning mentors that are based in D15. Um, what we do is we, we kind of set targets with the students um, and then we constantly review them um, with them. And we also allow the students to try and come up with the solutions themselves. My name is Selena Jones and I'm Assistant Principal at Sir Jonathan North with responsibility for inclusion. We work with these students and their families very closely. We are one of the only schools I believe to have their very own satellite school and that is a provision purely for students who are unable to access mainstream lessons. Hi, um, my name is Nazreen and I'm in year 11 and I'm currently um, studying for my GCSEs. Um, I became a student at Sir Jonathan North um, almost two years ago now as I was removed from my old school and put into an alternative school. I heard about Sir Jonathan North and then I wrote a letter um, asking them if they could give me another chance, which they did, um, luckily, and um, I was given a place and I was given a second chance. Sir Jonathan North is special to me because it has that backbone and it has that, um, it has that support that my previous school didn't have. Okay, so the students that we work with are the children that are what's called on pastoral support programme. My team looks after that student. Um, I'm the EL coordinator at Sir Jonathan North Community College. I teach English as an additional language. I work with students from different cultures. I came here in the middle of the year 8 and they helped me, as people do, and they helped me to improve my English. In year 9, end of the year 9, I got a chance to uh, in MP6 competition where I, I've done speech in front of parliament people about in Pakistan girls' education. I like, I like science. I think there are lots of things that make Sir Jonathan North a world-class school. One of them is the excellent relationships that we have within the college. Our students get along really well together and respect each other. They respect the diversity of the student population. And the harmonious atmosphere really helps our students to learn and progress well. <laughs> 